One of the things, the theme of the conference has been accessibility of the courts and transparency in the courts. And one of the things that keeps coming up are, are uh, TV cameras in the courtroom. And obviously, uh, the Supreme Court has made its proceedings much more available through um, audio recordings of some of the major cases. But do you have some thoughts on uh, television in the courtroom and television at the Supreme Court uh, for arguments? We'd be very interested in that. Well, um, we're having a pilot project right now under the guides of the, uh, uh, guidance of the Judicial Conference uh, in terms of the lower uh, courts to experiment with, uh, uh, again, on a pilot basis with television uh, uh, in, in the courts of appeals. And um, we're going to see what the results of that are. Ju judges in general, the judiciary, and certainly the Supreme Court, we tend to move slowly. Um, those of you who have been to the court know that one of the architectural motifs, uh, you know, the base of our, our uh, lampposts uh, throughout, is a, is a turtle. Uh, uh, and that's to uh, indicate that uh, we move slowly but surely and uh, um, on a stable, stable basis. We have made some changes. It used to be we didn't release transcripts of arguments. Now we release them you know, within, uh, I think, within a half hour. It used to be the audio recordings of the court's arguments were released at the end of the term. And now they're released at the end of every week. Um, uh, so we are moving in a, in a particular uh, direction. Cameras present all sorts of challenges that these other uh, uh, areas uh, don't. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole debate. It's a fairly common one. Um, we worry about the impact on lawyers. I worry about the impact on, uh, uh, on judges. Uh, I do think the considerations at the Supreme Court are different in many respects from the considerations. Do uh, you think judges will ask even more questions? I do. Uh, that's exactly, uh, <laughs> that's exactly, we unfortunately fall into uh, uh, grandstanding with, you know, a couple hundred people in the courtroom. Uh, I, I am a little concerned about what the impact uh, would be. Um, we talk about it from time to time. It's, it's something we consider. Um, uh, other courts around the country have had uh, the experience with it. Um, uh, the Supreme Court is different, not only domestically, but in terms of its impact uh, uh, worldwide. Uh, I'll be very interested to see what the results of the pilot program in the lower courts look like. I'm sure we'll take those into account in considering whether we need to move, move forward. But, you know, movement will be gradual. Uh, that's the nature of the, the court. It's a good thing. We, you don't want us jumping into things until we've given it a lot of thought and deliberation. Um, you know, I'm told th the way society is these days, things don't really happen unless you can see them on TV. Um, the Supreme Court is different. I've talked to people who've uh, been in the Senate and they think that televising the Senate debates uh, ruined them. I mean, you know, anybody who goes here, you can go see the Senate debate, and it's always one person standing at the podium and nobody else there, and people tell me it didn't used to be that way. Well, uh, you think of these great speeches that Daniel Webster gave, I mean, his great arguments that Daniel Webster gave, and these uh, great speeches that Abraham Lincoln gave, and they've lived through the ages, but they were never once televised. So it, they did happen. <laughs> well, that's right, and, and people say, you know, every. Other government institutions have been opened up, but uh, it'd be interesting to know what governmental institutions people think function better now that they're on television than that they're not. Uh, we are the most transparent branch of government. Um, everything we do that has an impact is done in public. Uh, you don't see the deliberations uh, of commit, a lot of committees and cabinet. You see our, our work in public uh, uh, at the court. Our decisions are out there. The only impact we have is on the opinions. That's out there. You, know, you see the materials we look at in, in the briefs. Uh, what's not public is, of course, our internal discussion and conference. And I don't think anybody suggests that that, um, that should be. Uh, anyway, the, the long and short of it is uh, it's obviously an issue that uh, uh, we look at. We'll see how the pilot project goes and um, sort of take it. Um, Take it from there. It does raise a lot of concerns for, for some of us, and I've obviously been sharing my views and not necessarily all the views of my colleagues. Chief, I want to thank you so much 